What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make the best LaMelo ball build in NBA 2K21. So for the position you do want to go point guard, for the pie chart you do want to go with the pure playmaker chart down here, it's the one with most yellow in it. Then for the physical profile for sure you do want to choose the top one because LaMelo ball is very fast and very crafty with its dribble moves. For your finishing attributes you want to max out your driving layup and driving dunk. For your shooting attributes you want to max out everything and then you can keep 16 badges and lower your free throw by one to get an extra attribute point so you do want to do that for the playmaking you can do the same just max out your pass accuracy max out your ball handle and you can lower your pass accuracy by one if you want to then for the defense you want to max out the perimeter defense lateral quickness steal and defensive rebounding and with these 18 extra attribute points you can put it to block if you want to but i think it would better fit lamella ball if you put it to close shot and you can also get three finishing badges from that if you do this the lamella ball build will round out with three finishing badges 16 shooting 29 playmaking and six defense then for the body type you can choose solid or compact i chose compact then for the height you do want to go with six foot eight it's going to be fun to use this new six foot eight point guard height feature and LaMelo Ball is 6'8", so go 6'8 on that. For the weight, you don't want to go minimum, surprisingly. You actually want to go 5 up from minimum. As you can see, you do get some plus ones on the left. Your speed and acceleration go up. But if you go to 190 instead of 185, as you can see, you still keep all those plus ones, but your strength goes up by one. I don't know if it's going to matter that much, but it's definitely better to have one extra attribute point just in case. Now for the wingspan, you actually do want to go minimum. I think this will make it the most like a LaMelo ball build. It'll boost your ball control and it will also boost your shooting. Then for the takeover, I would go playmaker or shot creator. I think those two both fit LaMelo, but I think playmaker better fits him. So we are going to go with playmaker takeover. And as you can see, we have built a pass first point guard. So now going into the badges, I think the four badges that best fit LaMelo ball are acrobat, contact finisher, giant slayer, and slithery finisher. You could go with a combination of these three. You could do like contact finisher silver, acrobat, bronze slithery finisher silver maybe contact finisher bronze it doesn't really matter but those are the three badges that fit in the best now going into shooting i think he would have catch and shoot gold dead eye gold hot zone hunter gold range extender gold and he would have volume shooter gold but i don't think that's a great badge in this game so i'm just going to put volume shooter on bronze or you can put it to silver and then just put the remaining badge points to green machine now for the playmaking i think lamella ball would have ankle breaker hall of fame bailout bronze is a pretty decent badge so i would put that on any build then dimer hall of fame handles for days hall of fame quick first step hall of fame space creator hall of fame unplugable hall of fame and tight handles hall of fame you could take tight handles to gold then put lob city passer on bronze that's a decent badge and you could also take three badges down to gold which i would take space creator ankle breaker and diamond down to gold if you do want to put floor general on because that badge also fits him as well finally onto the defensive badges you can't go wrong as long as you have clamps on gold and then intimidator on either bronze or silver and with the remaining two badges or one badges depending on what you put intimidator on i would put either chase stone artist rim protector pogo stick or rebound chaser because lamella ball is six foot eight and you did put the defensive rebounding up so that's going to help you get rebounds you could also put chase down artist it was a good badge in nba 2k20 hopefully it is still good pogo stick is a decent badge and then rim protector is also pretty good and it does help with that chase down artist boost so those are the badges and the attributes for the six foot eight lamella ball build if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe i think i am going to be making this build so if you want to see gameplay make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel anyway it's been king josh and i'm out Peace.